Hi, happy spring. And this is Deborah. Today I'm wandering around the yard, the last day of March, taking, to look, uh, taking a look at what has come up uh, in the way of weedy plants. Right there is a common daisy rosette that's going to take much of the, the spring and early summer to turn into flowers, but that's what that is, just barely coming up. Super cool. Over here are cleavers. This is what cleavers looks like when it's first coming up out of the ground. Gallium. And next to the cleavers is some mugwort babies. Artemisia vulgaris. And then down here are leaves of three. Red clover popping up. All in the same place. And there's another red clover. And then... Where did I say? Oh, there, there's some ground ivy. It's a beautiful edible mint family plant and it's coming up too. And then all over the place are baby dandelions. There they are. So lots of cool stuff just in this little teeny place. Continuing on our walk around the yard, there we have the basil uh, rosette of a mullen. That's gonna I think this is the second year. It takes two years before it sends its giant flower up uh, in a stalk with uh, little yellow flowers all the way up and down the stalk. But that is very pretty, very classic. It likes to grow in disturbed areas. And lots of my yard is disturbed. And then where did I see it? Oh, right here in the wall. This is the leaves of greater celandine. That's going to be uh, sending lots more leaves and then eventually an early, pretty early spring yellow flower. Uh, these are really, really pretty. Also very, um, they seed all over the place, but uh, easy to move around if you don't want them where they're coming up. I like seeing them. And let's see, we got a big bunch of mugwort over here and I'm gonna have to move those because they're pretty aggressive. I like to try to keep them somewhere where they don't get out of control. And what else did I see? There's a little leaf of pulmonaria or lungwort that has naturalized all over the property. And while it's a little too small to see, that's down there some leaves of uh, violet. Where'd you go? Oh, there they are. There's some violet leaves in there. And then another lungwort that is uh, flowering. These are really nice when they're flowering. They're so pretty. And I want to feature a couple more plants coming up early in the spring and make a correction that I think needs to be made from yesterday's video. And the sun is perfect for this. So here we have it. I showed you this in the last video. This is a, a, a gallium. The gallium species are a group of plants uh, often known as bed straw. In that same group are plants called cleavers. And I may have called this cleavers yes in my last video. And cleavers is a, a different um, a different uh, member of this uh, family of plants. So this is um, actually a gallium with the, and the leaves are shiny and smooth and soft. And they're coming up in bunches all over the place right now, but eventually they will have really pretty white uh, flowers and uh, historically they were um, dried in large quantities and used to stuff mattresses. At least some people did that. Gallium. Also today I'm finding the starts of yarrow. These are yarrow babies with these feathery leaves. Yarrow is Achillea millifolium and yarrow has all kinds of uses medicinally. It ends up with a tall white flower, uh, a foot or so tall, a little more than that for some, and all parts of it are used medicinally. The uh, uses include fever reduction through sweating, pain relief, anti-inflammatory. There's a whole variety of things, and this is just the beginning. Now, this family of plants has a lot of look-alike, so you have to be pretty sure when you're harvesting anything like this that you know what you're doing. And we'll talk about it more as it grows larger. And last today, we're taking a look at ground ivy. 
Blanchoma heteraceae is the botanical name. And you should be able to get a pretty good look at the pretty leaves of this plant. This is a, a vining plant. When it gets cooking, it can cover a very large area pretty quickly. It has really pretty little purpley flowers, and the entire plant is edible and medicinal. Uh, it is uh, in the mint family. It uh, doesn't taste exactly like mint when you brew it up in a tea, but you can tell once you get a little experience with it. And uh, that is ground ivy, also called Creeping Charlie. And it has a lot of other names, including, I forget, uh, uh, alewives. I had, I had a bunch of names and we'll uh, take a look at that at another point. Okay, that's it for today's shorts. Look for more in the future.